Today, we will be using the most powerful, the top three most powerful Dragon Legendary Pokemon from the Sinnoh region in the Go Battle League, in the Master League. Alright, so hi hi to all of you guys. So yeah, let me go ahead to bring my screen up and show you guys that we're going to go under here. We're going to go ahead to type Dragon and Legendary and Sinnoh and we are also going to have to type dot .ml. So these are the top three Dragon Legendary from the Sinnoh region in the Master League available to be used. Well, we'll go, go ahead and check out under pvpoke.com if we also type the same thing, Dragon and Legendary and Sinnoh. Alright, those three Pokemon, in fact four Pokemon will appear. The Altered form Giratina, the Origin form Giratina, Palkia and Dialga. So we're going to use three of them. Of course, we can't use one of them. And that's the origin form one that we can't use. Since the author form one is better, it's ranked two overall in the Master League behind of uh, Zygarde, the complete form. We're going to use that. So let's go ahead to uh, go into Go Battle League. We're going to go into Master League right now. And this is the team I'll be using. Yes, author form Giratina with Dialga and also Palkia. One more thing I forgot to show you guys though are the moves. Hang on, let me go ahead to uh, show it from here. Alright, you guys can see it has Shadow Claw, Dragon Claw, and Ancient Power. Dialga has Dragon Breath, Iron Head, and Draco Meteor. Considering to run uh, Thunder because uh, Palkia will already be running Dragon Tail, Aqua Tail, and Draco Meteor. So let's go ahead to look for a battle right now. But I'm just going to use a double Draco Meteor Pokemon. Give me a sec, let me uh, clear my throat for a bit. <coughs> Alright, we are good. Uh, oh yeah, I, I forgot to... Um, Turn off my Go Plus Plus. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I turn it off? Or did I reconnect? Oh my god, I totally forgot. Anyway, let's go into the very first battle. Lapina 1025. Uh, did we just hung? Are, are, are we good? Excuse me. What is going on? Wow, we can't even start the battle at all. How amazing, man. Uh, okay. Hello? Hello? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna force close, okay? I'm gonna force close. Give me a sec. Okay, I've already force closed. Let's go back into uh, Go Battle League. Alright, did not start. Did not connect my uh, Go Plus Plus also. Sun is coming out at the wrong time. Oh my god, now it's so hot. Come on, clouds. Protect me a bit. <laughs> alright, but all good. We got uh, Shao Xian. Okay. Hello, the sun. Please don't beat down on me so heavily right now. Anyway, we got Rayquaza in the house. So Rayquaza, you know, uh, it has Breaking Swipe, but Breaking Swipe has been uh, nerfed. Okay, there we go. Okay, Breaking Swipe, probably it's going to be Breaking Swipe. We're going to let it go through first. It's been nerfed because there's only a 50% chance to debuff the opponent opposed to having 100% in the past. Okay, now we did not get the debuff. That's great. So we're going to do a good amount of damage with our Dragon Claws, especially to the Glassy Glassy Rayquaza, the Flying Caterpie. Alright, there we go. Decided to shoot that. We're gonna go with another of our Dragon Claw instantly after doing one more Shadow Claw. I think it's gonna just farm us down. It's totally fine. We can then bring in our Dialga to farm it down. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Not good. We're gonna get taken out, but it's okay. We're gonna bring in Dialga now. Farm down the uh, Rayquaza totally. Yes! Great, Rayquaza is down. Oh my god, the sun is out again. Oh good, we got a ground typing Pokemon that is uh, Groudon, that is not good for us. We're gonna go ahead with uh, Iron Head first, switch into our Palkia, and then I uh, hope the last Pokemon is also weak to a Dragon. Alright, we are using Triple Dragons in this uh, <laughs> in this uh, situation. Alright, I'm gonna let this go through, even if it's Precipice Blade, I'm gonna let it go through. I hope it's Fire Punch, alright, so we double resist that. Okay, it's Precipice Blade, oh my god. God, that's so painful to see, man. Oh my god. Alright, the Dragon Tail is slowly going to add up in terms of damage. Alright, great. Great, great. Can we knock it out, though? Um, we can't um, knock it out. I think I would like to just let it go through. I hope the last Pokemon is not Melmetal. Okay, we, we, we do we survive that. Oh my god. Okay, it's Reshiram. We are good. I was thinking uh, that we, 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 we could have actually fired off the Aqua Tail if we actually tapped on it properly. But now what we're going to do is we're just going to double shield and just farm down with our fast move. <sighs> My god, the sun is so strong today. Yep, because of Fusion Flare from the Reshiram, but it's okay. I'm just going to survive the sun. I'm Team Veiler, so 
nothing is gonna burn me anyway so there we go boom there you go mr rashi ram haha <laughs> Okay, we won the very first battle with the three uh, dragons. We're going to go into the next one. I'm still going to lead with Altered Form Giratina because I feel comfortable leading with it. As for the other two Pokemon, I'm just hoping I can burn the shields first so that I can fire off my, you know, hard-hitting move, which is either the Draco Meteor. What? How come we got matched up against the same opponent as just now again? This is so interesting. Okay, we got Zacian in the house. Not a very a, a okay start, I guess. If he has played... Oh my god, he has weak, we have weak connection, guys. That is not good for us. We do not have Shadow Snake, which is quite unfortunate. Okay, but all good, all good, all good. Okay, okay. I'm gonna let him uh, use his move first. I'm gonna let this go through, hoping it is not play rough. Right, not everyone will run play rough, but this opponent is running play rough. That is quite unfortunate for me, but it's okay. Let's go with Ancient Power. Should have gone with my first Ancient Power as soon as I could, though, to have a chance to get a boost. 10% chance to boost both my attack and uh, defense. I hope my camera doesn't overheat though from the sun beating down on the both of us. Okay, we're gonna go with another ancient power first. Of course, we're not going gonna go with Dragon Claw because it will be double resisted. Okay, okay, awesome. Uh, I think I wanna shoot this, all right, so that I could actually uh, fire off another ancient power to knock out the Zacian, all right. I do not have a proper answer against Zacian, so I have to go ahead with this. Okay, all good, all good. This should be enough to knock out the Zacian already. Didn't want to go with Dragon Claw because it wouldn't be enough. Yep, the sun is very, very enough. Alright, enough, yeah, enough, huh? In enough, okay, the sun, enough. Okay, we're gonna go with this. We might be able to farm it down, or can we? Can we? Can we farm it down? Can we farm it down? Can we farm it down? Uh, doesn't look like it. Let's go with uh, Dragon Claw. This might be enough to knock it out already with the amount of health that is left with Zacian. Okay, there we go. Boom. Uh, you're gonna shield the... Oh, no, it's not enough. One more Shadow Claw, please. Okay, great. Now, let's see what's the next Pokemon, though. It is going to be... It is going to be... Oh, my God. It is Ho-Oh. Oh, my God. It is Ho-Oh. Oh, my God. It is Ho-Oh. That is not so good for us, right? Because Ho-Oh is very, very hard-hitting in terms of its charge move, regardless of whichever move you use. Okay, it's gonna burn us down. We're gonna bring in Palkia. Okay. We're gonna bring in Palkia. Palkia has Aqua Tail, which can handle the Ho-O -Oh relatively well. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, he's gonna use his uh, Incinerate already, which means I can use my move and make sure he doesn't switch out. Okay, boom, there we go. It's not enough, of course. Ho-O -Oh is very, very tanky. Probably the tankiest bird, other than when you face up against rocks, like a, a Shadow. Oh my god, that is gonna hurt. Okay, there we go. There we go. Can we farm it down though? Okay, great, great, we do. What's the next Pokemon? It is a ground type Pokemon. It's ground. Oh my god. That is not good for us, guys. That is not good for us. Okay, hope this does a little bit of chip damage. I'm gonna pull a switch into my Dialga straight away. Okay, he already did one much shot damage. So he's gonna get to his fast move like ASAP. Okay, Precipice Blade is gonna one shot KO us. The sun, really, the sun. Oh my god, the sun. Oh my god. Okay, yep, the Precipice Blade is gonna knock us out. One shot KO. Can we actually knock out the. Can we actually knock out the Groudon though? Nope. We are not gonna survive this Fire Punch because we already saw the damage from the Fire Punch from the previous uh, matchup that we would be able to not survive that. So we got taken out. Ouch. Okay, the sun, the sun, the sun. Hello. Hello, hello. Alright, thank you very much. Let's go into the next battle. I just hope my camera survives though, like I said, it doesn't overheat and whatsoever. And it just totally shuts off by itself. Um, maybe I should draw the curtain, but uh, <laughs> if I draw the curtain, there wouldn't be any light for the for the, for the the video. But it's okay, let's go ahead to the next battle. Okay, we got Ho-Oh in the house. Okay, Ho-Oh, alright. One incinerate, two incinerate, three incinerate. And the Brave Bird is ready, but we're gonna go with Ancient Power. Okay, there we go, boom. Okay, okay, great, he did not shield that. He's gonna go, oh, oh, whoa! Yo, my defense has risen. And attack has risen too, okay. I am gonna shield this. Sacred Fire, please do not debuff me. Okay, let's go with uh, Dragon Claw. This should be enough, I think, to knock out the uh, Ho-O. Okay, he might shield this also though. Oh my god. We just got a boost, guys. 10% Oh my god, it's not enough. But it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna farm down the Ho-Oh totally. I might wanna shield this also. Considering, okay, since we got the boost. I just hope he doesn't have a Togekiss. 
Okay, he's brave, but there we go. One Shadow Claw should be enough to knock it out. And he's bringing in Mewtwo. Okay, bringing in Mewtwo. Hmm, interesting. How much damage does the Shadow Claw, the, the Dragon Claw does though? I mean, do not have Shadow Snake. If I have Shadow Snake, it would be more amazing. It's probably half health damage. Okay, there we go. One more Dragon Claw. Oh my god. Just the Shadow Claw damage from the fast move is doing so much to Mewtwo though. It's a level 51 Hundo Mewtwo though. 4780 CP. Okay, great. We're gonna survive this, definitely. I think we can survive two uh, Psy Strikes. At least two. Okay, Shadow Ball. We definitely will survive that too. Okay, great. There we go. One more Shadow Claw. Let's see if it's gonna burn the next shield. Oh my god, it's so insane. 10% chance to happen and we got it. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. Boom. Okay, decided to shoot that. Okay, now he's out of shields. Okay, now he's gonna Psy Strike me. I'm then gonna bring in uh, Dialga to just farm down. The Mewtwo, and hope the last Pokemon isn't... Um, actually, even if it's Groudon, it's fine. I do, I do have Palkia, so that's totally fine. Okay, we just Dragon Breath down the Mewtwo, prepare energy for the next Pokemon. Let's see what he's going to bring in. He still has two Pokemon left, though. He's going to bring in the Groudon, which then I am going to... Okay. Okay, that isn't good. I thought I could get to Draco Meteor before he gets to uh, Precipice Blade, but looks like not. Yup, second time! We just knock, got knocked out by Precipice Blade for a second time, okay? Okay, he's gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with Aqua Tail. He's gonna try and get to Precipice Blade again. But I do not know if this is enough to knock it out. I don't... Oh, okay, it is enough. Great. Now let's see the ho -Oh come back in. Just do one more fast move and it's down. Oh my god, Palkia, you are so strong! Woohoo! No wonder you control the um, space, right? Yeah, you control space. You control space or control time? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, let's go into the next battle now. Yeah, there's no clouds coming in, guys. I'm gonna put down the curtain for a bit, just in case my camera overheats, like I said. Okay, uh, we matched up against the next opponent already. I'm so sorry if it's too dark for me, but it's okay. You guys don't have to look at me, just look at yeah, the, the screen, but all good. Okay, let's go ahead to... See, there we got Garchomp in the house. Garchomp is doing a lot of damage to us. Okay, let's go with Dragon Claw. Already half health gone from our Giratina. That's uh, quite unfortunate. Okay, awesome. And then uh, he's gonna go with that. Okay, okay, okay. Thinking though, uh, we would survive Earth Power, so I'm just gonna let this go through first. It's Sentum, Sentum Bait. Okay, let's go with Dragon Claw again. I might want to pull a switch into my Dialga. Alright, but but I mean, he might have Earth Power also, which then I have to be wary of. Okay, okay. Uh, if it's Sand Tomb, we survive this and we do get to another Dragon Claw. But if it's Earth Power, we are going to say goodbye. Okay, we survive that. Get to Dragon Claw, awesome. Okay, we do not have to switch to Dialga at all. He has already burned one shield, which is great. Let's see if he's going to burn a second one. Boom. Okay, he's not burning that. Let's go ahead and bring in Dialga now. Farm down the Garachom. And now we got up two shields. Alright, he's down to only one. Excadrill though. Excadrill. 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 I'm going to have to shield this first. Thinking, guys. Thinking what I should do. Should I bring in my Palkia immediately? Okay, I'm going to go with Iron Hit. For a little bit of chip damage, assuming he doesn't shield. Okay, which uh, there's a chance he would. Okay, let's go with this, switch into this. Okay, great, great, great. Now we're gonna slowly chunk away the health of the Excadrill. Okay, bringing in Gyarados. Very interesting choice. Uh, I am then gonna let this go through. It's gonna be Crunch. Aqua Tail will be double resisted, so it'd be great if you use that. Great, thank you very much for using Aqua Tail. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go with Aqua Tail. I have two Aqua Tails ready. I'm gonna save one for the Excadrill, but I have to pull a switch into my Dialga straight away once I'm able to. Okay, but the problem is it is still very far away from surviving. Oh my god. Okay, if we shoot this, we can fire off the Aqua Tail. Now the problem is, do we, are we able to, f oh my god, no, 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 this doesn't look good at all. This does not look good at all. This does not look good at all. We have two Aqua Tails ready. Can we get? Can we fire off two Aqua Tails with the amount of health that I'm left with? I don't even know I can survive the much shot. shot. No, we did not survive the much shot, guys. 
Oh my god, that's so sad to see. Okay, Juron is going to come in. It's not going to be enough, but the mud shot is going to be enough to knock us out. Yes, Excadrill is really good, guys. I like using Excadrill, and also Shadow Excadrill is actually better than the non-Shadow one. However, I have not gotten a good, good IV one for myself to use. Yesterday, I just got myself a one... Um, Drillber, Shadow Drillber that has IV 15, 11, 15. Not too bad, but hope I can get something better. CP was 500. It was a weather boosted one, but uh, hopefully I can get something better. Queen Jenny, alright, let's see uh, what she has for us. Okay, we've got Dialga in the house against our Giratina. Okay, not a very good situation for our Giratina, but we will do whatever we can, I suppose so. Okay, let's go with our Dragon Claw. Yep, it's actually getting really hot, guys. Yep. But all good. Okay, Dragon Claw doing a little bit of chip damage there. Okay, the Draco Meteor is coming in soon, but we're not gonna get hit by the Draco Meteor because I think she's gonna use the Iron Head instead. All right, let's go ahead with uh, the next move, Dragon Claw. Okay, do we want a shield though? Do we want a shield? Um, do we need to shield? Should we shield? Um, the answer is no. It should be Iron Head. Okay. Oh my god. Surviving that. Oh, not surviving that. <laughs> Alright, let's go here with our Dragon Breaths. Okay, we're gonna just uh, Dragon Breath down the Dialga. Okay, great. Now, let's see. What's the next Pokemon? It is going to be a Ho-Oh again. Okay. Okay, let's go with this first. Okay, great, 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 great. She might think that I'm going to use Draco Meteor and might actually shield it, so hence why I went for the Iron Head. Okay, okay, okay. She's going to use one more Incinerate. I'm going to switch into Palkia to catch the Incinerate. I mean, to catch the move. Sorry, it wasn't Incinerate. Okay, now she did 5 already, so it means she has both, um, of course, the Brave Bird and also Sacred Fire already. Okay, Brave Bird me, great. I'm, I, luckily, I shielded that. Now she's going to just slowly try and farm me down, but nope. I'm going to shoot up again. This is going to be brave, but for a second time. Okay. So, I'm going to have a lot of energy for the next Pokemon. She's going to probably pull an immediate switch. Oh, it's Kyogre, guys. It's a Shando Kyogre. Ooh, yummy. It's a Shando, guys. Okay, let's go with this. Kyogre practically cannot do anything to Palkia. It's going to double resist all the moves except for, I mean, um, I mean, ex all the water moves, I mean. Okay, let's go with this. This will be enough to knock it out. Alright, all the water moves. Alright, Kyogre only has one fast move, and that is Waterfall. So, you are double resisting it. Boom, there we go. Goodbye, Shando Kyogre. Oh my god, that was so nice to see, but also so painful for my opponent to see. Alright, one more. Boom. There we go. Alright, so we won that. We won three, right? Did we win th won th we won three out of five? Did we win three or one? I don't know, man. How many did we win? We won three. Okay, great. Not bad. Not too bad considering that they are Pokemon that you should not use together as a team because if you encounter someone who's using a Togekis or basically a very tight Pokemon, good luck. <laughs> Literally, good luck. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to fare well against it. I mean, we did pretty well against the Zacian, so that's all I would say. All right, so I think that is all that I have to show to you guys in terms of how these three... Um, legendary dragon Pokemon from the Sinov region perform together. If you ask me if I'll use them together, not really. In terms of uh, the one that's kind of the worst, I would think it's Palkia, though in certain situations, especially against the Kyogre, it fares the best against it. Alright, so that's all from me. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely remember to leave a like on the video. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, it's time to say goodbye, guys. I mean dragons. Alright, so goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.